Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're going to answer a few Discord questions. So the Discord channel, if you're curious, it is much, much better. Um, it was awful the first week or two, a bunch of nonsensical things. We have had a few people I've just kicked off or banned from the channel. Um, but other than that, it's been pretty good. We've been getting better questions, better interactions. Um, I think some people are starting to figure out there are some actual quants on the channel that can answer questions. Um, I am loving the fact that there are a few people on India, so from India, um, on the quant space that are able to kind of give some perspective on that, right? I don't live in India. I don't work in India. Um, I would love to answer your questions, but if you want to know something about India's quant job market, quant market in general, I don't know. Um, but let's dive on in here to a few questions because I think these were actually some pretty good ones. Um, the first one is going to be somebody was complaining about a friend of theirs was saying, hey, quant dev are real quants. Um, those that do quant research or model development or model validation are not real quants. And just to prove it to you, um, I'm making more money than these other guys are making. So quant devs are making more, so therefore they're real quants. Me scratching my head. I have no idea what the hell people are complaining about. Um, yeah, I get this ridiculous jive or kind of explanation every single time. Um, yeah, I have investment banking friends that actually make more than most of you. Um, I have friends that are executives at firms that are making in the millions or making far more than many of you. Um, are they real quants? Um, I know medical doctors that are also making more and lawyers that are making more than you. So I guess a lawyer is a real quant and these quant devs are nothing but hacks and frauds, right? Right? That's what, I'm, that's what I'm getting at. It's not about the money, guys. Um, and that's what some people have been confused on the Discord channel. And I appreciate those of you that have kind of added some commentary and some insights on this, especially those of you that are also in the industry. You do quantitative finance, i.e. model development, model validation, and you work in the quant space because the math and stats excite you. You don't do it for the money. If you're looking to chase money, there are plenty of other opportunities to make money. Um, the tech industry, investment banking, lawyers, doctors, like there's all kinds of other paths. None of these are necessarily easy paths, but you do them because you love them. You don't just chase dollars here. Uh, and then the great question that came from this as well. Uh, can you give me a soccer example of this? So I thought I'd give you guys this answer because I put this on there. I thought it was pretty clever. Um, it's like saying, you know, football, right? Let's just call soccer football because that's what everybody calls it globally, except for the U.S. Um, this is the same thing as saying Dak Prescott is a real football player, unlike Messi, because he makes more money. Um, for those of you who don't catch the reference here, Dak Prescott is the highest paid NFL player that plays American football. So actual NFL football, what Americans consider football, right? Football players that play in the NFL in the U.S. are not the same as soccer players that are playing soccer, even in the same country or other countries. It's not the same sport. So just because somebody makes more money than somebody else doesn't mean they're really a football player. Um, it just means you're doing two different jobs and there's different compensation between them. Like, it's weird to, comp to think that money equals um, somehow some sort of job.